for our third little mini lecture for Design 320, Spring 2022, Week 3. I want to do a little bit of who, what, where, when, and why to talk about SketchUp in particular. So I think it's always valuable for people to go and look out and say, okay, why am I doing this thing? So I thought I'd just get on to Indeed. Now, this is a partial list. There's just three in a row that I can look at that seem to be very current. And uh, look and see who is using SketchUp. I did a SketchUp Indeed.com look. So Project Manager, 23 days ago. Um, excellent communication, time management, technical skills, original design, estimated between about 80,000 and 100,000 a year. And this does have SketchUp in it. Now, you can imagine if the project manager needs to do SketchUp, anybody working on that project would need to be SketchUp. And uh, HGA, I think, is an architectural firm. Um, I think I'm actually familiar with that site of where that is. And so, so there's one in project manager in architecture, which means designers, which means CAD operators would all need to be able to do um, SketchUp as well as the, um, the marketing person on that team. So here's one job captain, sort of the same thing, integral member of the project team, all phases of the project planning and conceptual design through construction, also needing um, um, SketchUp. And if that job includes SketchUp, you can bet that all phases of that project will be included with SketchUp. So the people that interface with the job captain, the designers, the drafters, the architects, the procurement officers, the contractors, Everybody's going to have to have a little bit of SketchUp because they're using it in theirs. This is sixty to seventy-five thousand a year. Um, let's see, interior designer. Well, there we go. Nine days ago, <clears throat> multifamily housing, education, mixed-use commercial. So interior design. That one sounds design coordinator. There's another. That one's a little bit old. Some of these get old and they're hard to find uh, current ones. Here's two days ago, 3D modeler, CAD designer, $30 to $50 an hour. SolidWorks and CAD, but it includes SketchUp in it inside, deep inside there because we've got it. So this is why, of course, we suggest that you learn SketchUp, AutoCAD, Revit, maybe even Inventor. We have Inventor in ours. Inventor is Autodesk version of SolidWorks. And so um, your goal is to be technically competent in a bunch of these. So it's always good to know what you want. Now, most of these are going to be in the concept visualization stage. Um, and so you would be working with sketches, um, they call them charrettes, where everybody gets together and writes notes on the board and throws up pictures of their ideas and goes out and looks at things. You're going to actually get the development of that during this class. Um, and so good technical CAD skills, SketchUp being one of them. And you can see, I think, at least by the end of this week, week three, you'll see what a great, fast visualization tool it is. Um, you should know that SketchUp interfaces with AutoCAD, Revit, Inventor, Unity, Maya, and many other programs. Unity is really important because that's where you do your 3D visualizations real-time where customers can just walk through the area on their computer screen or with their virtual goggles on. Now, that's not easy. Again, you need another technician to take your SketchUp file and transform it into a 3D arena. Um, if we advance far enough in this class, 
we will take a couple of designs and, that, that are done by students in the class and we will drop them into 3D so that you can experience that. Okay, so that's a little bit of the who. The who is you and um, positions called CAD operator, designer, drafter, which eventually can lead to project manager, job captain, and architect. Um, so that's the who. The what is designing 3D models in a wide range of uh, software, including SketchUp, highly used in industry. Um, where most of this work is done obviously on a computer, which means that it can be done remotely or in an office. When? Every part of the project includes some SketchUp work. If SketchUp is the design um, visualization software of choice. There are others, by the way. Uh, if you can run SketchUp, you can run some others. You should also know that SketchUp is owned by Trimble. Trimble is the world's largest manufacturer of surveying, well, not, maybe not the world, this country's largest manufacturer of surveying equipment and software. And they have integrated SketchUp into a whole array of things. Even drone downloads can go directly into SketchUp and create topo surfaces and realistic arenas for you to to be working and doing calculations so um trimble is a big powerful company they own sketchup um, and so they integrate that all throughout many many things trimble is biggest in gis geographic information systems and um many people bridge the divide between CAD and GIS. So who, what, where, when. Uh, when can be uh, early in the project if you're doing concept visualizations, later in the project if you're doing renderings or presentations to land planning groups or ownership groups or even contractors that need to just see what's going on. Uh, when can also be, depending on what you're doing, for instance, I believe one workplace is a job shop, which um, they just post jobs. You say, okay, I'll get that done by, you know, three days from now. Here's my price. And they either accept you or don't. And you do your work on there. I think I've, I think two or three of our former students started out working in one place. <clears throat> And then employers that continually used one place found the designers they like and hired them in for sure. So there is a little bit of who, what, where, when, why. There's a few reasons. One, uh, it's taught as one of the foundational design tools in design tech because we are broad-based. We think students just need to be technically competent. The other why is because, of course, it is in demand. I'll give you one more example. My niece is a landscape architect. She has a bachelor's degree of landscape architecture from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. And uh, she works privately now. All of her original customer work to get a job is done in SketchUp. Does phenomenal, amazing work, which she really developed her skill working for um um dang it why am i why am i blanking on it? army corps of engineers as a landscape architect working with architects actually and she was doing interior designs because she is able to do phenomenal renderings and ray tracings and lighting solutions all in sketchup and they were using them to do their charrettes and figure out what was going on. So she really fine-tuned her skills with, um, with Army Corps of Engineers over about a five-year period before she went out on her own. 
So there's power to it, and we want you to go ahead and learn it. So hopefully that gives you a little background. All the same can be said of AutoCAD, although AutoCAD is not as good of a visualization tool. SketchUp is the powerful, powerful visualization tool, quick visualization tool, and you're going to find out that it is mostly used for something called mass modeling, which we'll talk about in week nine so there you go who what where when why week three of design 320 thanks folks